All right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessing, and many salutations to you, elect Akim, across the four winds of this earth, pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. I'm the brother Sha'ar from the Great Millstone Dallas camp, coming at you all with another lesson through the Spirit. Lord's will is edifying. And this lesson here, my intentions isn't for it to be too long, but I wanted to touch up on um, this particular current event that's taking place on top of um, other worldly news. I write in this current event here in regards to um, the the catastrophic hurricane that's on its way to hit parts of um, Texas, Louisiana. And it's actually talking about, well, they're talking about this storm moving up through the country going past Arkansas and even parts of um, Kentucky and Ohio. All right. And obviously hurricanes have been going on since the beginning of times. All right. But um, when you look at how these events are compiling up, all right, since you go into the beginning of the year 2020, I mean, obviously the Lord's been doing works, especially severe works these past few years. All right. But obviously, as we see, um, as 2020 has been progressing, a lot of these judgments and these events have been taking place with short spans of time together. You have something that happens and immediately something else happens. All right. And when you look at this hurricane called Hurricane Laura. All right. And by the way, these hurricanes that have been coming these past few years have definitely been higher level. All right. And um. When you go into it, it first intentionally started off as two hurricanes forming, all right, and um, well, they were approaching the Gulf region, all right, approaching America, all right, and I forgot what the other one was called, but it, it ended up um, digressing into um, what's called a tropical storm, all right, while Laura had um, increased into a category three, all right, so what it's looking like, these two storms are forming together and becoming one one super one super hurricane and it had upgraded into a category four all right and for those of you all that might not be fully aware of how the categories work all right a hurricane is a hurricane regardless all right no matter the category but the higher the number is meaning the higher the destructive forces and the power of it all right just like when you go into tornadoes you have you know f1 f2 f3 f4 and f5 and F6 has, hasn't yet to been recorded yet, but I mean, shoot, by the way, things have been going now. I wouldn't be surprised if that was next. <laughs> All right. So when you go into a category four hurricane, I'm going to just put into it in these terms like this. Hurricane Katrina was a category three. All right. And you've seen the destructive power that it had uh, came with. All right. You see the destructive force that it had came with. All right. And when those levees out there in New Orleans broke. And you saw that water get pumped and pushed into the city. You've seen the product of it. All right. In this category four, not only is it touching the nether regions of the United States, but it's also moving up all the way to the Midwest. Midwest. And it still has been talking about having power. All right. They're talking about the eye of the storm passing over Arkansas. And when you go into the eye of a, the eye of a storm. All right. That's the worst. That's the worst place to be at in a hurricane. Not right, because it's all of a sudden still. And when the back of that eye where all those intense winds hit, it's just a, a blast of wind and it destroys things in its path. OK, so obviously this hurricane lore isn't no lightweight thing. All right. Now, of course, we got brothers in Louisiana. We got uh, brothers in Houston, Arkansas and such. And best believe uh, I believe those men are going to be OK. All right. Of course, they're uh, obviously uh, without a doubt. I wouldn't. They're, they're they're praying, praying for protection. And that's what we should do. Pray for each other for protection. All right. That's fighting. That's in the know. All right. But what those brothers, all of us understand is that all this is the Heavenly Father's will. And whatever the Lord plans on doing. All right. It, it's not going to return void. It, it's going to happen. And we all understand that. All right. So we all pray for, for protection. All right, as we pray for protection for our brethren and sisters that are in the know that do believe. OK, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to read this article here. Going into um, Hurricane Laura and this article was um, was updated today at 1141 a.m. 
And I'm going to read it as you see in the background. It says Laura upgraded to category four hurricane unsurvivable storm surge forecast for Texas, Louisiana. So it's going to be um, very severe. All right. It ain't going to be no light thing. So it says Hurricane Laura, a major category four storm is set to hit near the Texas, Louisiana border on Thursday morning as local officials scramble to evacuate thousands of residents. The storm's rapid intensification shocked scientists and prompted forecasters to issue warnings of unsurvivable storm surge in Texas and Louisiana. All right. So with them saying unsurvivable in layman's terms, they're saying it's going to get very bad out there. All right. I mean, again, obviously, we know what had happened in 2005 when Hurricane Katrina had hit Louisiana. And you've seen the catastrophe that it came after that. All right. And again, whatever the Lord's will is whatever the Lord's will. OK, but it just goes to show you the weight. All right. That this that this that this hurricane is going to bring the destruction it's going to bring. OK. It says um, and this is a, a looks like a tweet from National Hurricane Center. It says Hurricane Laura Advisory 278 Air Force Hurricane Hunter Aircraft reports Laura has become an extremely dangerous category four hurricane. It says catastrophic storm surge, extreme winds and flash flooding expected along the northwest Gulf Coast tonight. All right. So us here in the in this nether regions, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, this that expect heavy rain. All right. Especially in Louisiana and Texas where we at, because that's where the hurricane's going to pass by. It says Laura could bring storm surge of nearly 13 feet. To the coastline as well as flash flooding and tornadoes on land. So this hurricane is projected to possibly bring tornadoes in the land, man. And we can't forget that Esau, all right, this devil has a harp program where he can modify weather. All right. Remember just two weeks ago, it was just two weeks ago, there was, there was pretty much a, a hurricane, hurricane type winds that was over. I believe it was Idaho or Iowa, one of those two states. All right. And it obliterated tons of crops that's over there. All right. And obviously it's all being done by the most high because he had placed the spirit on these devils to create such weaponry because this devil's blessing is the sword. All right. But I can't put it past this devil. All right. That he's doing things to the air with his heart program to cause these severe catastrophic events that are taking place again as pertaining to the weather. OK, there was a picture that I seen a few days ago going into um, those two hurricanes forming. And there was actually a line of tornadoes uh, right over the water. I believe they're called water spouts. All right. When tornadoes form in the ocean and it was a large line of tornadoes that was there. And, and honestly, that's something that I've never seen before. Never seen that at all. All right. Not saying that it doesn't happen, but there had to have been at least at least five to seven tornadoes lined up. All right. And it's talking about right here that there's a chance that tornadoes will form after this category four hurricane touches. OK, so this is all judgment of the Lord. It says the storm battered the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico and Haiti over the weekend. And that's all areas where Israelites are. All right. That's what those Jake's are, man. You got Simeon. Ephraim and Levi that's over there within those regions. It said knocking out power for more than one million people, collapsing some homes and killing at least 23 people. And I'm going to say this, man. A lot of people have already lost their jobs here in the States due to this whole COVID stuff. OK, just wait to see if, if stuff really gets obliterated and, ha and it happens like that. Then you got a second wave of lockdown coming. It's not looking good for America, man. All right. As we've been prophesying, as we've been letting you all know, all right, this place is going to be judged by the Heavenly Father. All right. And it's going to be constant plagues that are going to come and hit this place and approach. All right. And these things are going to happen before the great day of the Lord. We've been telling you these things. All right. Now, the average person can say, well, it's just a, it's just a hurricane. Well, it's the way that the hurricane's coming and everything that has been transpiring this year. It's, it's, it's been at its worst. OK, so these are obvious signs and obvious clues that the Lord is coming back, man. 
And I'm going to read this precept here in the book of Luke chapter 21. And it says, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. All right. And we've obviously seen we've obviously been seeing been seeing signs. All right. And when you think the sun, moon and the stars, you think of the heavens as well. And when you look up all you like, there's been in a plethora of chariot sightings happening. All right. There's been a plethora of different chariot sightings taking place. OK, you even look at it in New York a few weeks back. The whole camp saw a wave of dozens and dozens of chariots flying in the air. All right. And, this, and in the same day, it happened to the bros out there in Chicago. All right. So these chariot sightings have been seen abundantly and not even just by the brothers, but by the inhabitants of the earth. OK, this been a, this has been a record year for chariot sightings and us being in the know. We understand why we know that these are the angels measuring out the destruction of the thief. All right. Which the thief is Esau Edom. OK, this is the judgment that the Most High is bringing. OK, this is what the chariots are doing. They're mapping out. They're mapping this place out. They're getting ready to bring destruction. OK, but also too, going into the sun, into the moon, you got particular eclipses that have been happening more frequently. All right. Matter of fact, just last week, I don't know if any of y'all noticed it, man, but there's been tons of red, orange moons and they were crescent moons. OK, usually you see that when the moon is full. All right. But these have been crescent moons. I've seen it for days straight where it's been blood red. All right. And I will honestly say, man, when I was a child coming up, even recently, the past few years, I haven't seen them that frequent. OK. And a regular person is just walking by moseying on through it like it's nothing happening, man. But these are signs of the judgment that the Most High is going to bring, that he's bringing and that he's going to continue to bring. Mm -hmm. All right. So when you continue in Luke 21, it says, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth. The stress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. All right. And what more example can you have than a category four hurricane, a ca catastrophic event? All right. That's talking about obliterating uh, homes again as it went through Dominican Republic, Haiti and Puerto Rico. And remember, a few years ago, Puerto Rico got decimated by another hurricane. All right. But it talked about millions of people were without power. OK, and it's stronger now. Now it's a category four. It wasn't on a category four level when it touched those areas. All right. But now it's at a cat four as it's as it's here approaching the Gulf. OK, so those are definitely uh, the sea and waves roaring. And when you go into this word perplexity here. That word there in the Greek is aporia. And it says, the state of one who was in perplexity, gee, great example. It says, to be without resources, to be in straits, to be left wanting. All right. And you see that right now, man, a lot of people lost their jobs due to this whole COVID thing. All right. And when you go into straits, what does straits mean? It means being in a position of difficulty. All right. And this is another example that shows you, too, that this place is Egypt as well, spiritually. All right. Because when you go into the name Egypt, that word Egypt means double straits. All right. And, and that and that double straits is about to I mean, it was fulfilled when we were in slavery, but it's only going to intensify the closer we get to the end of this place. All right. The bitterness of this place is really going to become very bitter. It says to be in doubt, not to know which way to turn. All right. So this stuff is approaching America very soon. We've already seen examples of it in Venezuela and other particular third world countries. But now it's getting to the point where the unthinkable is getting ready to happen to America. That unthinkable being not expecting those type of straits to hit America like these third world countries have already experienced. All right. And this is the stuff that's getting ready to come to America, man. Really, these straits are coming to the world. But the bulk of it is going to hit America, which is Mystery Babylon according to the scriptures. And you remember when Hurricane Katrina hit Louisiana, 
Ain't nobody know what to do. They ain't know where to turn, know where to go. People was getting eaten by alligators in their homes, stuff like that. You know, and all this is judgment of the Lord, man. And by the way, you got a lot of wicked niggas out there in New Orleans and Louisiana as well. It's a lot of witchcraft that gets exalted out that way. A lot of witchcraft and voodoo. You know what I'm saying? So the Lord is touching you Israelites. All right. The Lord is touching the house of Israel, man. And it's rightfully so. So when you go back to that scripture in Luke 21, it says men's hearts failing them for fear. And for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. All right. And that's going to happen ultimately when those nukes come. But these are all events that are to transpire before Yahabashai comes back. And these events have been very frequently, especially in the year 2020. And you see through the spirit why it's called the year of prophecy. All right. Because it's definitely been, been prophecy popping off like. Like 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 um, a grand finale and fireworks, okay, left and right. Literally, the year started with an um, I believe it was his na his name was um, General um, Soleimani, you know, and I believe he was a, a, a war general of Iran. But him getting bombed and killed by American forces, then Kobe died, all right, and then COVID hit, and all these different events have been happening since then, okay. So while people are making jokes and memes. In regards to 2020 and how it's been horrible. And I love it, man. We love it. Because we told you so. Now I want to jump back to this article. And the article reads, I'm running out of words. Hurricane Laura is now one of the fastest intensifying storms in recorded history in the Gulf of Mexico. So that's what I mean when I said that. It's history, man. Anybody can say hurricanes have been happening since the beginning of time. But this particular hurricane right here is the fastest intensifying storm in history. The fastest. Well, it says one of the fastest, but still, regardless, this is this is making history. Everything has been making history this year. All right. It says climate scientist Eric Halthus wrote in a tweet. Laura now poses a catastrophic, potentially historic threat to coastal Louisiana. All right. And this says a historic threat. OK, so this is worse than Hurricane Katrina. All right. This is worse than Hurricane Katrina. This is um, his tweet. Hurricane Laura is now in the same company as Camille in 1969, Katrina 2005, Ike 2008. You remember how bad Ike was supposed to be too? people. This is when I lived in Ohio as well, man. People from Texas, my family in Texas was talking about coming up to Ohio just to be protected from Hurricane Ike. Rita, 2005, in Galveston, 1990, as one of the biggest hurricane threats recorded history in the U.S. Gulf. Okay? And I mean, the whole article continues to go in, man, but I believe the point was made. The Lord is visiting this place, and he's bringing judgments. All right? That's why it's important for us to stay fast, stay steadfast within this ministry, and repent, all right, because the Lord is bringing terror unto this place. And if our doorpost ain't covered by that lamb, by that by the blood of that lamb, we could be taken any time, any moment, all right. So I'm gonna end it off on that. Lord's will. This lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing and many salutations to you, elect Akiam, across the four winds of this earth, pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom.